On today's episode, we have a fiance who wants to call off their wedding, OP experiencing problems between her best friend and boyfriend, an ex-wife wanting to ruin her ex's current relationship, and OP is concerned that they're coming off as manipulative. For the Patreon bonus story, we have pet owners who are asking not to be judged by the internet. Head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network to hear that bonus story, add free episodes, and additional content. Reddit on Wiki starts right now. What's up, Wikimaniacs? It's your Pony Pinoy, Jine. Oh. I'm back, baby. Uh, since apparently I can't escape those allegations anymore. As usual, I'm joined by my favorite boys, Josh and Sean. What's up, fellas? Hello. How's it going? And <sighs> for the first time oh, ever yeah. on the main feed, I am joined by my better half. Wikimaniacs, please welcome the lovely... Julia. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Ew, I know. Ugly ass girl. For the first time on the free feed. The free. The free meal, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's how we do. That's a tease. I'll fuck with that heavy. Go to Patreon. That heavy. Yes. <laughs> we talked about Japan and you can just see how douchey I am as a person. <laughs> we see it every day, John. Every day. Every day. <laughs> but uh, it is the first episode. Oh, no, no. The second episode episode of the month but and we just had our live stream quote unquote mm. uh we are talking from the uh future right now ish and uh sean i'm pretty sure took us to some really good food spots in houston and uh yeah we had a lot of fun right boys yeah no, sean dropped the ball it was terrible Shit. Yeah, fucking ass bro <laughs> uh yeah predicting from the past i think it'll be an amazing trip that's what we'll go with Let's go with that. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right. Well, <laughs> well, because we have a guest today, and uh, I famously have her saved under La Toxica on my phone. Um, so all our stories are going to be pretty sad today. Okay. It's all sad. Jesus. An oops so, all uh, sad. Brace yourself. To welcome oops, us into sad. December. <laughs> and to and have Juliet on. To have Juliet on. Yeah. <laughs> God, oops, all yeah. anger inducing. Uh, oops. There's no um, oops, all toxica. Ooh, I mean this this could possibly be. <laughs> we definitely this have episode toxic partner stories. We could have done, John. Come on, there is there is a lot of toxic partners in this. So okay, it's, well. <laughs> it's anger inducing. Could be sad. Whichever you go. Let me ask you this: Do you guys save your partners with uh, a cute name or like an ugly name on your phone? I don't want to burn anyone out. Uh, mine just Sienna with a bunch of like emojis yeah mine's nancy with oh. a bunch of emojis oh nice we're on the same page yeah <laughs> i didn't say whether they were good or bad emojis so i'll leave that up to the listener <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys john's <laughs> oh, God. don't show well, my I, number show his number Dawson. uh josh could edit it out <laughs> I, should, I can cover it no, I can i'm not cover going it. to uh, oh my god something daddy so <laughs> so it's a scrub daddy Just scrub, scrub daddy, daddy. <laughs> Is the picture an actual scrub daddy as well? Not a sponsor? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> not a sponsor. This is why I never want to bring her on because uh, she's she's going to embarrass me the, the whole I got to say, scrub daddy's like, nicer okay. than Latoxica. I think she has you beat. She's yeah, a little sweeter so. than you. No. no, she owns up to that. Yo, uh, you want to tell a story how we got into a fight this morning? <laughs> <laughs> this is now the show. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll say it. <laughs> say it in a, I'm like the asshole for him. Oh, that's a lot of okay. work on the spot. That's, so that's a lot of work on the spot, <laughs> brother. I tried to do that once, uh, uh, like many episodes ago. It was very hard to come up with. <laughs> you could try. Okay, I could try. I could try. Uh, I, 32 female, have been married to my husband, 32 male, um, for almost 10 years. Um, oh, yeah. Good so start. Congrats. With, throughout all this time, we should understand our values and expectations. Facts. <laughs> Agree. Yeah. This morning, I woke up a little bit late by my husband. He said, good morning. I brought you Chick-fil-A. I woke up <laughs> uh, heated because I was like, he went to go out to get Chick-fil-A. So where else did you go? 
Oh, <laughs> and I had just woken up. He said he went to the gym, and I'm like, um, why didn't you tell me? Why don't you bring me? <laughs> I mean, it's fast. You know what's more important to me? Yeah, like to be yeah, with I'm you, spend time with you. And rather than you experiencing your own thing and then get me like some fake ass reward. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So am I the asshole? <laughs> I think not the asshole. I think John is. <laughs> uh, but then again, he didn't want to wake you up. But then again, bro, she was comfortable, bro. But then again, nah. what what if, you just what if Juliet wanted to work out too? Yeah. <sighs> Are you doing two days? First story. Are you doing two days? Are you gonna go back to the gym if she wants to go to the gym? If she wants to go back to the gym, I'll go with her. Today. No, you ruined. The gym. I ruined it. I ruined it. Yeah, she's been mad at me all day. She's been throwing you missed daggers it. with her eyes. <laughs> hey, it could have been worse. He could have. He could have went to the gym and then brought back no Chick Fil A. No, nothing. or worse, That's true. Exactly. brought back Chick Fil A for himself and ate it before you woke up. He woke you. He woke you up to give you some stuff. It could have been worse. Look at that. You could have found the wrappers in the garbage later on. Oh, on the day. that would have been worse. That would have been bad. That would have been terrible. <laughs> no, I actually, the Chick fil A is like, this feels like nothing to me. It's the gym. I'm still salty about the gym. It's the just, betrayal of leaving her by her. It's just empty. Yeah. <laughs> what if someone came in and kidnapped me while you were gone? I locked the damn door. <laughs> Oh, you're not like Sean then. <laughs> I know. At least I locked the doors. Okay. I live in a friendly neighborhood. Garage. I trust. <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, first story of the day. This one is cross posted by Lazy VB Bruh, one of the goats. <gasps> go. um, and this is from r slash best of Redditor updates. The title is my fiance made me get plastic surgery just to get engaged. Now I want to call off the wedding. Oh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Shouldn't have said yes to the engagement too. <laughs> That's crazy. This is uh yeah, this is a uh, La Toxica or Toxico uh story for sure. Some, this is some scrub daddy behavior <laughs> yeah. if I've ever heard no. of it. <laughs> Are we gonna, I was going to say, can we make Scrub Daddy merch? But that's copyright. Yeah, we definitely right get sued. For we sure. can do that. No. Um, <laughs> Uh, there is a trigger warning for this story. Uh, there is uh, emotional abuse and manipulation, body shaming, and coerced surgery. So, Wicked Maniacs, if you're not comfortable with those type of topics, please feel free to skip ahead. Uh, there's time stamps. Or well, you might need to skip Perfect. this whole episode by the sounds of this intro. It, this might, it might be bad this episode for is you. Gonna, probably going <laughs> to anger you. It's my my one this one. Uh, Episode in a couple months that are like that's angry. Hey, to be fair, a lot of a lot of the people in the Discord have been begging for an "oops, all sad." I feel like. Oh well, there it is. They love seeing us depressed. They love (laughs) seeing us hate our life. (laughs) Granted, and I want to start off this uh, story by making Sean kind of, you know, get the twitch, get the ick a little bit, get the fresh off a holiday. I'm so full and happy with food. (laughs) Hey, well, you know what. I'm here to ruin that. For Fantastic. You um, I, 26 female, have been engaged to my fiance, 37 male, for six months now. How long were y'all and dating? And we're getting married How next. How long were y'all dating? <laughs> what was that age difference Wait. again? 11 years. And we're getting married next spring. Our relationship has not been easy and we dated for two years before getting engaged. Mm. And he broke up with me once in between for five months. Right now, I am so conflicted. There was a time I was so eager to be engaged to him, and now I'm lost. First off, I kind of had to give an ultimatum to get engaged, to which he responded he has not proposed all this time because of something in my looks that he's not attracted to. Oh, game over, buddy. (laughs) Immediate. Okay, well, it's over. You're 24 through 26 at this point. Lots of dudes, I will say, available. No reason to... Lock yourself down to some guy 11 years older. 24 is right at the cuffs to where it's like not terrible that you're dating a fucking, what, 35 year old? 36, 35 year old. Yeah. Not terrible. Not great. Uh, <laughs> and uh, further evidence. Borderline Sean rule? For, further <laughs> evidence to wait till you're 25 <laughs> to date. Or just, yeah, don't date douchebags, I guess. I feel like if she had to give him an ultimatum to propose, that's like not a good start either. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. True. <laughs> no, no uh, engagement starts off well with an ultimatum. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Thus the sh- um, he but asked then they me- have the show, oh. the ultimatum that is just fucking 
<laughs> Which, if you watch that show, it went terribly for most of them. <laughs> and yet people still True. audition and go on that show. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, well, like four seasons, three seasons, something like that. Yeah. Sienna and I joked something we should like go that. on there before we got engaged Jesus. just to like to get, get money. The money. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn. Do take one for a team, Josh. We we need this show to be successful. It's too late. We're very publicly engaged now. <laughs> Um, he asked me to get a specific plastic surgery to correct this issue and that he would pay for it. And only then he's willing to get engaged. So I went ahead and got the surgery. They put a clown emoji next to it. Anyways, we get engaged and I can't, uh, and I can still tell he's not that attracted to me because the surgery didn't really make a big difference. Doesn't compliment me, doesn't really touch me or initiate things with me. He doesn't complain or bash my looks, but doesn't rave, rave about it either. But this isn't the worst of it. I'm currently in grad school and he works full time and makes over $500,000 a year. He is paying for the wedding and has rubbed. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. That's, that fucking hurt my soul. <laughs> Bro, that's like, that's God like damn. All our incomes combined oh, and it's still not. Not stuff. even touching it. Uh, <laughs> Part of the worst people make the most amount of money. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. They probably make the money and then become Real. terrible. Oh, that's probably, well. It's more money, more problems. Yeah, some gray yeah. area, I'm sure. More money, more problems. I'll gladly take some problems, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is paying for the wedding and has rubbed it in my face on two occasions how I contribute nothing. Jesus. And that I basically never have the right to complain about anything ever because he works so hard to pay for things. In parentheses, they put, I complain once that I feel we don't spend enough quality time. I just don't know if I'm making a huge mistake getting married to him. I don't want to be miserable. I am so anxious. I don't feel like he loves me and he pushes me away when he's having a bad day and doesn't talk to me. I just feel kind of neglected in the relationship, but I also don't want to be a victim and consider maybe he's right about some things. Breaking an engagement off is so embarrassing and this would be his second broken engagement and I don't want to do that to him. I just feel really lost. How do I go about this? Do it to him. Embarrass his ass. Do it to him. I was going to say, it's less embarrassing than being like getting married to this guy and then divorcing him, you know, five, 10 years later because <laughs> because uh, he's been a piece of shit the whole time. Uh, I mean, yeah, just call it off. He doesn't love you for who you are, doesn't respect what you bring to the table. It, it's really obvious why he was single and alone at 35 for me <laughs> right now. Uh, and yeah. he should go back to being single and alone uh, until he figures out some shit. I almost feel like he likes this um, power imbalance because he's like, like throwing it in her face. Oh, I pay for everything. I make so much money. Um, it's like it's almost like she's trapped, and she Absolutely. makes it in the. I kind of understand his mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I do that to you. Damn, but I, I, the balance. <laughs> I mean, I'm letting it happen. I love the power hey, dynamic yo. here. I'm benefiting like a motherfucker. <laughs> you saw how I flew, bitches? Shit. We did. We <laughs> manipulate the fuck out of me, girl. Um, I don't manipulate you. But it's okay. I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> this is not good can. for the show. This is what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what we promote, John. <laughs> uh, they do have uh, an edit that they put and, and also an update after this because it wouldn't be on best of Reddit updates if, if they didn't have that. But um, as far as the first edit, they put, thank you for all the responses, even the mean ones that I needed to hear. The surgery, the surgery I got was liposuction off my legs from thighs to ankles, uh, to ankles, and I've always carried weight in my lower body. He says, financially successful men don't like thick women and goes on to list all the successful men he knows and uses their women as reference. I figured he was right about this and got the surgery and I'm still trying to lose weight because the lipo didn't make a huge difference. Also, to those that ask what good qualities he has, I initially thought he was very kind, helps the poor, and goes on medical mission trips. So he's a doctor. Um, he is funny and we actually get along really well when things are good. And I love his parents so much, and I really feel for them. They are older and want grandkids and want to see their son married. I don't think they realize how mean he can be. I am not going to pretend his money is not appealing. I didn't grow up with a lot of money and watched my parents struggle as immigrants, and I always wanted to make sure my kids will grow up in a financially stable environment. It's not really gold digging because I'm not a materialistic person. I don't care for expensive things, just don't want to struggle like my parents did. 
To those who think I can get a prenup or divorce, our culture and community is very strict. I probably should have mentioned we are Middle Eastern, and they put not Muslims. Uh, we don't get divorced. It's not an option in our church. He ended his first engagement, not her, and he said she became too obsessed with the wedding planning and felt like a different personality of her had come out after she secured the ring. And they did have another update, and this was posted on November 12th of this year. Um, Hello, everyone. I did not think I would post the update so soon, but here it is. We broke up today. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 48 48 hours after my initial post and 1,000 plus people begging me not to get married. The wedding is off. So good job, Reddit, for uh, encouraging OP here. Um, This is how it went. He picked me up because we we had our engagement photo shoot today. He has been depressed for over a month now over a real estate lawsuit that he started. He has already been putting me on the back burner because of this lawsuit and gives me zero attention. Acts like I am an added stressor in his life. So I'm already fed up with the money attitude. And he starts going off about how he's not in the mood to take pics today. and That it's hard for him to smile. How drained and unhappy he feels over the house. I literally exploded. Could you imagine going to your engagement shoot and being like, I'm so unhappy. Oh. I can't smile. Oh, what a <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, I literally exploded with everything that's happened. I couldn't take it anymore. I told him I've never met such a literal man child in my life for him to break down over a lawsuit. He started. He is not fit to ever be the man, the sole provider of a family to face real troubles of life. He has never had any real issues in his life. He is a literal man child. Uh, I told him he never acknowledged how insane it is that I went and got surgery just for him to find me more attractive. He never recognized the care and sacrifices I've made for him. I did take ownership for letting this relationship drag out as far as an engagement after he showed me time after time how unfit he is to be a life partner. It is my fault. I ignored the red flags and I kept having hope he would change one day. Maybe if I brought him a child, he would start to appreciate me more. Maybe seeing me as a mother, he would start to love me. I am so glad it didn't last long enough to find out. We didn't make it to the shoot, obviously. He ended up driving me back home. Sadly, we wasted the poor photographer's time. His reaction throughout all this was very minimal. Oh, so cold. I, I was. I thought they, they were with the photographer when they're having the fight. And I was just like, <laughs> could you imagine being that dude? <laughs> I'm like, I'm still getting paid by this. <laughs> oh, this is not how I envisioned it. I'm not getting the wedding check. <laughs> Probably a great story to tell. That'd be like, oh my True. god, I got it all on on camera. I flipped to video mode. I'd sell that bitch, <laughs> sell that bitch to Netflix real quick. I sell it to her for like a party, like a single again party. It's true. Oh, there you go. Look at you, Sean's proud. I bet. <laughs> Money moves. Um, so cold. He would look down and look sad, but it looked like he was pretending. He said he was sorry, and he thought I deserved better than him. He said his emotional battery had run out, and this was the end of it. I gave him the ring back and told him we're never speaking again. I want to thank everyone who responded to my original post. I read every single one. I can't express how much it helped me finally come to this decision today. You guys actually saved my life. I am not even sad. I'm so relieved, and I feel lighter. Thank you all so much. Can we also acknowledge how okay he was with her just leaving like yeah she was tough. i was, was gonna say like, he's like all right he's like god damn it the real estate lawsuit fuck oh i'm broken up we're i'm single all right that's fine uh moving all on right, so <laughs> the real estate <laughs> i mean that ended up being a, a not oops all sad yeah that that's had actually a, a nice ending some of the oops all sad episodes we've done before is just like all right just straight up so sad you married him and you hit your life and that's <laughs> where we end the story that's crazy so yeah it, i'm glad i'm glad they broke up and uh yeah, yeah i'm glad she's not sad mm. i do wish he was sad um but it is what it is <laughs> maybe the real estate deal broke apart for him maybe he is really sad <laughs> he's right ran now. out of emotions <laughs> He's sad about uh, material objects instead of emotional connections, yeah. uh, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully she can move on, find someone else who is much closer to her in age and uh, has the same appreciation for life and, and spending time with her. So It's crazy. Like She thought that bringing kids into the equation would solve <laughs> their relationship, and that's never going to come out right. 
You'd be surprised the amount of people think that's gonna fucking. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad. Y'all can't y'all can't test run with adopting a dog or a cat. cat or something. Yeah. Start with a fish. Work your way up. Yeah, you know. Fish. I wouldn't bring a dog into that relationship. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Y'all like dogs more than humans, so definitely don't bring a dog into that relationship. Yeah, fish. Yeah. I think a fish is good. Bring a fish. fish. Yeah, you can look at a fish and be like, you know what? If we break up, you can take them. <laughs> yeah. yeah <all> right. <laughs> There's going to be somebody that All fucking right. loves fish and they're going to come and be like, you fucking monsters. <laughs> you fucking How asshole. dare you? Fish growing up. <laughs> well, we had a fish when we first moved in, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you yeah, did we test drive it. Yeah, we, we named him Masta. Masta fish? Yeah, because Masta beta. <laughs> it's a beta fish. He named it, obviously. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Chuck. you said, this is the man. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. I'm going to stand by my scrub him daddy. in, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your scrub daddy. <laughs> Hell. I want them scrubs. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next story. This one is cross-posted by another goat. Um, this one is uh, cross-posted by First Pershawn Energy hey. from r slash relationship advice. The title is... Is this Sean? No, it's someone who uh, named their um, username. It makes you feel better they did it out of spite. Uh, This is when a lot of Sean... I wouldn't say out of spite. It's out of love. And then... (laughs) Definitely tagged me on Discord. was like, I hope this makes you mad or something like that. (laughs) It it was when when Sean was in every pun and I hated my life. And then people were making usernames for it. But Sean is spelled right in the. I know it that is. was before that bit. That was before that bit. Oh, okay. It was in the middle <laughs> area. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Sean spelled so many different ways in my life before. It's creative. Uh, but they also have the the flare on our subreddit. Uh, who mm. the fuck is Sean? Of course, so. that's true. <laughs> Crazy to have that username first person on energy, and then still have the flare. <laughs> true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the title again is, uh, my best friend has feelings for my boyfriend. So I 28 female find myself in a complicated situation and I could really use some advice on what to do. So a little background. I've been dating an amazing guy, 30 male for the past year and things have been going great. We share a common interest, have a strong connection and generally life has been good. However, Here's where it gets complicated. My best friend, 29 female, since childhood, recently confessed to me that she has developed feelings for my boyfriend. I never saw this coming, and I always thought of her as a sister, and the last thing I expected was for her to see my boyfriend in a romantic light. She's been struggling with these feelings, and to her credit, she told me about it instead of keeping it a secret. I appreciate her honesty, but now I'm stuck in a difficult position. On one hand, I want to support my friend and help her get through this, but on the other hand, I can't ignore the fact that her feelings complicate my relationship. I've talked to my boyfriend about it, and he assures me that he has no romantic interest in my friend and wants to continue building our relationship. I believe him, but I can't shake the feeling of discomfort knowing that my best friend has these feelings. I'm torn between my loyalty to my friend and my commitment to my boyfriend. I want to salvage both relationships, but uh, it feels like I'm walking on a tightrope. Has anyone been through something similar? How did you navigate through it? Any advice on how to handle the delicate situation would be greatly appreciated. This reminds me of that TikTok where they like the girlfriend films her boyfriend and her best friend interacting. And it's kind of sus that like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that. They have, oh, yes. they have feelings for each other. <laughs> so I've seen some of them that are like definitely maybe they're parodies of that one because they're definitely like fake ones where it's like this is not real like uh, wrestling on the floor like yeah oh, that's wild. Like their interactions are inappropriate <laughs> they're like flirting like obviously gross um and the, the way you would square up with somebody <laughs> that would never happen to me <laughs> <laughs> i'm scared for my life yo. <laughs> uh but with with the story i mean I don't know if it's actually like she was like, I appreciate her honesty. I don't know if I would in that moment. Like the fuck you telling me for uh, you need to figure that shit out because all that's doing Spicy is putting Josh. unnecessary stress on my relationship for no reason. Uh, go to a therapist and talk to them about it and work it out. Realize, you know, find yourself, find your own man. You know what I mean? 
Like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to feel about this one because I don't know if someone had a crush on Nancy, like my best friends. Uh, they're all married now, but in a hypothetical world, I don't know if I'd want to know or not know. I would be like, if I did know, I'd be like, all right, well, she has friends. Like, there are, <laughs> you don't have to, there, there are other people, same font. You know what I mean? Like, same vibe. <laughs> We live in Houston. There are millions of people. Yeah, this is the else. fucking fourth <laughs> biggest city <laughs> in the country. <laughs> you know, but for but for her to develop feelings, it it, it kind of says how like how their interactions were. Like, yeah, because you can't like True. develop feelings for someone that isn't like feeding into like some sort of energy, right? No, because we have a bunch of neck beards that that fucking have feelings for a bunch of people <laughs> that do, don't get any do energy. Do the boyfriend and the best friend hang out alone? Like for them to have that kind of, I, I mean, don't they, know. I, they I think it's us. Could. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would say it is possible to develop like feelings because you have, I don't know, celebrities that have people that are like, I love you. And it's like, well, you don't really. Yeah, 14 year old me and Jessica person. Alba. <laughs> yeah. We're getting married. It could be right? like a, <laughs> The best friend could be like that one story we had when uh, she fell in love with the neighbor because all he does was speak to her on the train. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, it could be. It could be that situation. So too. I'm not saying so. like it, like there is, it is a possibility that there is like something sus going on. Uh, For I'm sure. Yeah. It's also possible that you know maybe this person is just at a distance loving him, which is weird. Is if I if it was me, I'd be like Juliet said. I'd I'd be like going through all my old stuff to be like. Have they ever acted sus like, <laughs> like in front of me, or like have I ever noticed anything? Because uh, I, I would and rewind the whole moment. last year of my life, be like, "What the fuck? How did this happen?" You know what I mean? <laughs> Scanning. <laughs> what the fuck? Like that Black Mirror <laughs> episode, you're just rewinding. To- <laughs> uh, well, let me offer an update. Oh no! I have an expected update on the situation that's mm. been keeping me on edge because this takes. An unexpected turn. Juliet was right. Um, <laughs> after my heartfelt conversation with my best friend, they put, let's call her Misty, uh, we seemed to reach an understanding. She acknowledged her feelings, and we both agreed to work on maintaining our friendship without compromising my relationship. Things were looking up. But then, last night, I received a message from an anonymous account Claiming to be my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. And according to this mysterious messenger, my boyfriend has been secretly meeting up with Misty and reciprocating her feelings behind my back. How does she Juliet know? knows everything. <laughs> oh, I meant, how does the ex know? <laughs> uh, I understand toxic energy. She, she, <laughs> she saw the future. She knew what the, what the fuck was happening. <laughs> I was floored. Naturally, I confronted my boyfriend about it, and he denied everything. He seemed genuinely shocked and hurt by the accusation. I'm caught in a web of conflicting information, and I don't know who or what to believe. Couldn't he just be like, let's call my ex-girlfriend right now? Could have. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's what a faithful boyfriend would do, right? Yeah, you would, I mean, <laughs> true. As, as soon as that would happen, I'd be like, all right, well, th- let's fucking call her then. Let's, let's figure this out then. <laughs> but question, why the hell is the gr- ex-girlfriend still Yeah, keeping her? How she know? <laughs> that's what I, yeah, you're that's right, what I That's, that's what the story. I was like, like, what the yeah, fuck? Like, where is she coming from? It's like from- <laughs> Why is she still so invested in this shit? <laughs> it's like wrestling when that random guy comes out and he just come, joins the fight. It's like, who are the, where the <laughs> fuck did you come from? <laughs> Maybe the ex-girlfriend and the, the best friend are friends. Ooh. And she's been telling her. Maybe she Could is be. the ex. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> I'm, now I'm getting in a web. I'm, I'm trying I, to figure out the math. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, now I'm at a crossroads trying to decipher the truth and the lies. Uh, has anyone been through something like this? And how do you separate fact from fiction when trust is shattered? I'm feeling lost and betrayed and any advice would be greatly appreciated. And that was the end of their um, updates. Mm. Wait, that's it? We don't actually get to find out whether... We didn't criminal. find out. They didn't post what another... Fuck? How dare they not they update post the internet? So edit. rude. Yeah. Know, John, write an AI ending to that, please. <laughs> I wish I could. Damn. All right. Well, I don't know. I think Juliet would probably have a better grasp on this since she guessed it also. What would you do? What would 
I do. Like, well, what would your girl? advice be? Yeah, would you trust your your best friend or would you trust your your boyfriend? None of them. They're all <laughs> they're all dead <laughs> snakes. They did. They, they deserve <laughs> each other. Ooh. I would let them have each other because if you're gonna start off relationship cheating, they're gonna cheat on each other eventually. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Okay. I might try and reach out to the ex and try and figure out how she got this Knows? information. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she could be just trying to stir some shit, but also how she does she also know just be misty. Misty. <laughs> She can also just be Misty. Because it was anonymous. It was anonymous. Yeah. Even though she said, I'm the ex. Weird. <laughs> okay. If you're going to start off with this lie, why even connect it to a person? Because then you're no longer anonymous. What's the point yeah. of doing an anonymous number being like, oh yeah, I, I'm somebody your boyfriend knows. Uh, in fact, know so well that we dated previously. You know what I mean? Just just be anonymous. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. already messed plan. up by telling the boyfriend like, that oh, she true. got this text. She should have done her investigation first. Mm. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you make me so goddamn nervous. Hey, you got nothing uh, to be nervous about if you ain't fucking around, John. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's that's true, true daddy. Like, yeah, come on, scrub I'm daddy. not worried at all. Damn. <laughs> Bro, I'd I, I be telling her all the time, just like, hey, I'm, I'm going to go out. I'm going to do this. She's like, aren't you nervous? Like, all these girls going to be on me. She's like, no. <laughs> I was like, fuck. My confidence has been shattered. <laughs> damn. Yeah, I got nothing to be worried about. God damn. Oh, damn. I'd be leaving my phone. And I was like, I'd be taking my phone. She's like, I don't give a shit. I know no one's texting you around. <laughs> so like, fuck. You're right, but don't say it. <laughs> you don't want to hear that I 100% trust you uh, it's I mean, the tone it's Wait, like isn't that what's the tone though <laughs> it's fucking backhanded bro the way you like, say damn. <laughs> that's <sighs> funny Pain. I'm on Juliet's side look if you're getting fucking that flight to Japan she, she's, she's allowed to <laughs> <laughs> to disrespect you hey disrespect the if she's getting like you the fast said. pass in Disney World Japan she could disrespect you really if I can eat unlimited yeah, Chilean unlimited. sea bass, please talk all the shit you want. Yeah, chew Toro all day. Yeah, talk shit. That's fine. Oh, girl. But uh, <laughs> before we move to our next story, uh, we're going to cut to an ad break so uh, we can get some shmoney. So we'll be right back with Maniacs, and we'll have two more stories after this. And we're back. All right. Next story. This is from another goat. Cross posted by outside lower score flamingo, lower score 246. Uh, this is also cross posted from r slash relationship advice. The title is Vindictive Ex Wife Ruining My Boyfriend's Life. <laughs> I know the title sounds a bit harsh, but hear me out. And they spelled here H E R E, and it's pissing me the fuck off. It <laughs> um, could be boyfriend. foreign. It could be foreign. <laughs> it, they, they could, but. Damn it. Anyways, <laughs> my boyfriend has a very vindictive and they can spell vindictive. <laughs> that's true. Right? That's true. That's, that's a big I'm... ass word. <laughs> uh, my boyfriend has a very vindictive and belligerent ex wife. Also belligerent. Hey, big words. Um, Kudos. This is part of the reason he left and divorced her. Uh, during their marriage, she was too emotionally unstable and disrespectful. My boyfriend found me and had expressed that I made him feel more of a man, and we've been together ever since. Earlier this year, his ex put him on child support even after he told her that he could not afford to provide substantially for their daughter at the time. She completely disregarded that and he was slammed with the paper soon after. As she should. Yeah, I was about to say, I think I'm on the not OP side. I think I'm on the ex-wife side so far. Yeah. Same. (laughs) When you read this title, I was like, is your current boy, did you start dating your current boyfriend while he was still married to his ex-wife? Ooh. That sounds that's like That's what it, I right? thought. Oh, I didn't pick that I, up. I mean, yeah. I could be completely wrong, but when I heard the title, that's what I thought of. Well, it says this is the part of the reason he left and divorced her. Mm-hmm. So maybe like she was already on like lined up, you know, when, when they divorced. Sounds like the talking already it. happened before the divorce. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There has been many times where she has blown up his phone, abusing him by calling him all sorts of names, etc. Uh, begging for money like a desperate low life. Mm. I don't know. That's child support, buddy. That's child support. If you're not paying yeah. child support, I'd also <laughs> fucking call you a bum. So I, don't, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You need to take a long, long, long look a long, hard, oh, or a long look in the mirror you for your fucking. You need to take a long fucking, look in the mirror, bud. <laughs> yeah, for your partner right now because he ain't doing his job as a father. I took it upon myself to reach out to her and explain this uh, his current financial situation. 
I specifically ask her to be patient because their child is only one. So he'll have a lifetime to provide for her. Why not start now? His, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His ex also has a good job, her own place, and even currently pays out of pocket for all of their daughter's expenses, which I reiterated to her because I don't understand why someone in a better position is oppressed over some little change. She can obviously do it herself while he's getting his stuff together. She shouldn't be involved. That's like, yeah, not that's being, it's not her kid. I agree. Facts. She in turn cursed me out and hung up on me. As she should. We didn't hear from her for months till things took a turn for the worse. Last month, she called my boyfriend irate in the middle of the night, claiming that he gave her herpes and that she wants him to die. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is obvious. <laughs> This is obviously one of her dra dramatic lying outbursts. We reassured her that he has no sign of her peace, and neither do I. She claimed she was a virgin before the marriage and celibate after, so she knows it was him. She also claimed they both got tested beforehand to prove they both had a clean status. Because of this, she wants to bring criminal charges against him. My boyfriend reassured me that she's just lying and bluffing because she's jealous. I agree with this because why can't she just let him be? Why is she trying to make him, his life harder than it already is? I wholeheartedly believe that she would try to falsely charge him with this because she filed child support easily. She's, uh, Wait, she what? has. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, child support. It, what What do you mean, supposed, like, easily? Oh, like, easily? Yeah. I feel like that's a right as a parent yeah. to file that shit. Yeah. Dude, as soon as the divorce happens, <laughs> I'm filing immediately. What you talking about so easily? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have custody of the kid. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, she's has also filed the contempt of court motion against him for child support, and we are receiving continuous letters in the mail about it in attempts to intimidate us. We have reached out to her and the child support office various times to beg for mercy and understanding, yet their greed allows them to be inhumane. That's not greed. That That's button. a necessity. <laughs> oh, man. I cannot stand to see my boyfriend in so much misery from all of this. I am currently pushing him to file for full custody of their daughter so that all of this drama will cease. We are good candidates, so I think we have a good case. He lives with me in my home, and we he always lives have with her. <laughs> yes. Oh, this was a real bum. <laughs> Talk about real scrub. Um, he lives with me in my home. We always have a food in the house. Uh, we always have food in the house, and I will take good care of the baby. We are good people. And uh, I think this uh, comment uh, places everything like perfectly. Uh, Facepalm, lower score 1290, uh, commented, so dad is broke but believes court will give him custody of the baby? Wild. <laughs> yeah. Facts. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was going to say. I, I <laughs> Man, that, that was wild. That, when we went into that, I was like, oh, maybe we're going to be on OP side. I The herpes thing was weird. I don't know where that one came from. I just don't uh, know but, why, like... Why the first response from her, the herpes thing is like, well, obviously, let's go get tested, right? Like, let's figure yeah. this out, right? But she's like, <laughs> I trust my man. I have no signs. Get tested. What? Why are you? Just do it. <laughs> Just yeah. a piece of my, my mind would be going crazy. I was like, yeah. That's, um, you're staying in my place? You could possibly be giving me the herp? <laughs> the herp? <laughs> crazy. Uh. I want to know what he's telling her because she's like... Oh, in love with him, and he's not not providing much. anything. She got that, got that big dick, bro. Probably no. no I think something. it's just easier to paint your ex as the crazy one, you know. Yeah. Well, a lot of our stories that we do, the guys do that. They they paint the ex as uh, insane. He got that herp dick. Jesus. And she wants to take care of the baby, and she's like, "Oh, we can't pay child support. Child support is way less than actually taking, taking care, care of the baby." <laughs> yeah. Not to mention time oh, and effort. She's delusional. Yeah. Which. I don't think he would give so and he said he was trying to get his life together still too yeah so why how are they gonna win custody if he's gonna say he's still getting his life together don't make i sense. guarantee when she was like i think you should get custody he was like well let's not get too hasty let's, <laughs> let's relax a little bit actually i do have herpes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i think we should end things actually <laughs> Oh shit! The next, the next uh, girlfriend he dates. Uh, yeah, my ex is crazy. You gave me herpes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just handing it to everybody. Um, all right, last story uh, cross posted by. I think they're a pretty new Wikimaniac that uh, 
that submitted this. I haven't used their story before, but this is from CAJ Castles or mm. CAJ Castles. Um, cross posted from r slash um, relationship advice and uh, trigger warning Wikimaniacs there is grooming and um, miscarriage uh, in this story so and then another shocking thing in the end that I'll mention as well so um, the title is my 32 female husband drum roll Sean 53 male wants a divorce how do I tell him I'm pregnant without coming off as manipulative? Wait, one, one more time. Run those ages. You say 32? 32 female. Okay. Husband, 53 male. I mean, you're not a full ter- adult. Yeah, not <laughs> terrible. That's fine. We've been dating for 10 years. That's oh, when that's when we're in trouble. <laughs> and we're, I, yeah, and we've been fucking dating for 15 years. Excuse me? <laughs> you said well, what? <laughs> You're going to change that tone, buddy. (laughs) Oh, no. All right. Again, uh, trigger warning, mention of uh, uh, miscarriages in this this story. Oh, no. You led this with grooming. So I'm like, oh, oh, this is bad, actually. They've been dating for 10 years. Yeah, damn. Mm -hmm. All right. So recently, my 32 female husband, 53 male, told me he wants a divorce. As a bit of a background, my husband, we'll call him Jordan, uh, was a family friend. And after a bit of messing around, I ended up pregnant with our daughter, 14 female. Do the math, Sean. So she was... What is that, 19? I'm bad at math. 18? 18. 18. Oh. And he was 41? Is that is that right? Family friend. I would be like, if I was her dad, I would beat his ass. I would beat the <laughs> shit out of him. Yeah. Family friend I means like jail, like your dad's friend or mom's friend. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's crazy. Um, we ended up having a good old shotgun wedding, courtesy of my highly religious family. The f- no. top of- supported this. No, oh my oh God. God. no this fucking is- way. <sighs> Jeez. Uh. The topic of families came up afterwards. Not one person Naturally, was like, this is fucked. <laughs> this is fucked. I, I no, cannot they, believe. They went, God wants this. We're getting certain. <laughs> we're, we're blessing this. Can you imagine one of your friends like messing around with your kid? On site. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I'm just like so bamboozled by that. <laughs> Ugh. What about all your fucking 18 year old friends? Are they not like, that's bad dude that's you should not yeah. marry this guy mess around or even mess up well I mean, well for sure I'm, the mess I'm around better, was like, a huge mistake and part of me wonders how uh fucking consensual the messing around was when you're 18 I don't think it was and consensual, the dude yeah. is fucking can't do math 53 minus 14 that's what 39 that's a lot that's it's a old. lot of numbers it's old way too old Older, They're advanced age of 39. Older than all of us, and that's concerning. <laughs> it is very concerning. Oh, my God. Uh, the topic of families came up afterwards naturally, and, and we both make our stances clear. Jordan wants a big family and always has. I'm talking mo- mother, father, seven children, and a dog type deal. Meanwhile, I wasn't super opposed to the idea of one, though I felt seven was a bit too much. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you're fucking 18. That's a lot, kids. Of course, you think seven, is, dude. I, one is I too mean, much. I'm, and eight, one, Twenty-nine. I think economy? seven is too many. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Um, anyway, life goes on as we settle into newly married life. He gets a prom- he gets a promotion and is working longer hours. We decide I quit my job to start caring for our daughter full time so we can save more money from daycare costs. And when she turns five and starts kinder, we decide to start trying for another child. Well. Roughly two years in, into this, with no results, I get cancer. I put the family thing on hold and I opt for treatment. My doctor did warn me that the chemo drugs I was on had a high risk of causing permanent changes to my fertility, but we decide to go through with it anyway. There was a rather scary period of time where it looked like treatment was making it worse, but I managed to pull through. Shortly after me and Jordan get back to the family planning. Unfortunately, in this time, it very much seemed like the infertility risk hit, as I couldn't keep a pregnancy. The few times I did get pregnant usually ended with a miscarriage. 
with the one time I made it to full term ending in a stillbirth. Jesus Christ, that's heartbreaking. It is. Well, after a few months of this, he tells me that he's sick and tired of getting his hopes up only to be let down. He's sick and tired. I, w- I want to know where he lives. <laughs> that's dox. Oh, my. <laughs> and, and that if I get pregnant, I should just not tell him until I was three, uh, four months along since the risk of miscarriage would go down significantly then. I agree and follow this rule. Fuck you. As of last month, I noticed that Jordan becomes distant. He takes longer shifts at work. He isn't as intimate with me anymore. And he pretty much ignores our daughter and me completely. While before, he always made sure to at least greet and hug her, even if he was running a bit late. And then about a week ago, I get served with divorce papers while he's at work. He refuses to tell me why he wants one and is insistent that it isn't a problem I can fix. The only problem is that I'm pregnant and was planning to tell him the news the literal day I was served, since I had passed the four-month mark. Now, however, I'm worried about how to tell him. I have to disclose that I'm pregnant on the paperwork since that affects possible child support and custody, and I don't want to lie to a judge. But I also want to tell him myself instead of having him find out through the court. My issue is that I'm worried that if I tell him now, it'll look like I'm trying to manipulate him into canceling the divorce and force him to stay with me. But if I wait for it to be mentioned during the divorce, it'll look like I was trying to hide it and trap him into paying more money for a child he wouldn't be aware that, of. Do that. Do that. Yeah. Trap yes. is what the fuck? How are you having any Why yeah. you want compassion him at all? That's yeah. no power to you. I would not. I would not be able to fucking, I'd be like, of course mm-hmm. I'm going to trap your ass. I'm taking you for everything. And I know we didn't sign a prenup because of my fucking highly religious family. So I'm like, I'm fucking <laughs> milking this shit. Can anyone help me out on the best way to tell him without it coming off this way? I appreciate any advice you can give me. Too long. court. Yep. Uh, too long didn't read. My husband wanted a big family, but I ended up infertile due to illness. He recently told me he wants a divorce, and I'm not sure how to tell him I'm pregnant without coming off like I want to manipulate him. And before... We go off on this guy as we're probably we've been doing uh, throughout the story. Um, user Cat J Castles also did leave a note when they reposted, and, and for our sanity and uh, Wikimaniacs, you can read up on the comments uh, by the OP if you want. It's kind of sad. Um, OP did confirm that in in the comments that he he essayed her when she was fifteen. Jesus. So. Oh, man. I mean, that's why she has compassion. She's been fucking brainwashed for more than half of her life. Uh, yeah. Dude, that's fucking terrible. I mean, what do yeah. we say? <laughs> All of that was awful. Uh, yeah, I think, I don't know. Like, there's not much more we can say. The grooming's terrible. I mean, the essay is awful. Uh, but, like, to continue to put your wife through going through childbirth after myth- miscarriaging... And she's like half heartedly doing it anyway. Like to force her to keep doing that is horrific. Just torture, basically. Yeah, horrific. Because yeah. um, like if if that ever happened, like you got to be like, all right, well, maybe we can adopt or something else. Like, the, and this is this is not, ignoring all of the other stuff that in a healthy relationship. You know what I mean? I'm pushing all of that other stuff. That's how you should approach that because you don't want to put your significant other through that because that's terrible. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, all the other stuff is just some of the worst stuff we've ever heard. So I don't I don't know what else to say. It was like a bunch of like whammies, you know, like I know we've heard a lot of uh, stories about guys leaving their significant other when uh, they get sick. And then on top of like and then on top of that, it's the whole grooming situation. The whole Sean rule is blow up and in, in effect right now. Um, and then, you know, just the manipulation and everything that's going on, too. So it's like. This dude is like, I'm surprised it wasn't an am I like this guy wasn't an am I the devil somewhere because probably was. Uh, he's he's doesn't deserve to be, you know he he doesn't deserve to be happy at all. Like this guy is just a terrible person. I was gonna say at least the devil has compassion. <laughs> I mean, like, Ish. No, I, I I I don't know. It was a, it's like a, I think it's a saying, right? Oh, uh, is it not? Maybe it's maybe it is. <laughs> I'm deeply religious and that fucking makes me angry that you No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I agree with like what, what Juliet whenever uh the story was like, Oh yeah, he's tired and then she was like, She he's tired? I agree. That's fucking crazy. He's putting I mean, you know, 
in a healthy relationship, y'all both could have been working and wanted the babies. Uh, so, you know, some people keep going after that, but like for him to be like, I'm tired of, of, uh, getting my hopes up, like without taking into any consideration that she's probably way more tired because she's the one actually getting pregnant and losing yeah. the, I mean, y'all are both losing the baby, but she's the one getting the physical, you know, the changes and all everything, hormonal changes. And it's just, yeah, this is like, usually we have a story and it's like, you know, one of these bad things. This is like five, like, Everything. and then like Marcus decades Ford. worth of fucking bad things. Uh, yeah. yeah, this one's tough. The, like Josh said, there's not much more to say than being like, this is just one of the worst guys. I wish awful, awful, yeah, terrible things good. to happen to this man. Uh, Same. Yeah. Also, just betrayed by your whole community. Uh, yeah. So just your family they all too. fucking failed you. The whole community failed you. Yep. Like, I don't know if any, any place, uh, any church or any like city hall, when they see a fucking 40 plus year old marrying an 18 year old, everybody's got to take a quick step back and be like, all right, are we really like, ain't right? All, all of us are like, okay with this. We're all just going to be a part of this and act like nothing's weird. Everything yeah. is weird. And she's pregnant. Everything is weird. And she's and pregnant. She's pregnant. It's just, yeah. yeah. What is it's happening? Called. How is, as a community, as a whole, all the vendors, everybody, just not like, I can't do that wedding, brother. Come on, man. She's 18 yeah. and pregnant. I fucking hate that part of society where they're like, well, she's 18. She's an adult. It's like, can we not have some critical thoughts here and like think about, oh, she's pregnant probably before she's 18. They've had a you relationship well, before yeah, the motherfucker this. Didn't like, wait. I have two thoughts. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's like right. It's right. You know yeah. I mean, yeah, there are exactly. so many fucked up laws that the, the system as a whole is not good. So it's just it's like, like, how are people arrested for selling weed? And this guy is fucking yeah, not, like out in the streets. You know what I mean? I just, uh, I, I don't know how just any, nobody in this whole place took a step back and was like, we should stop this. Right. Like <laughs> this is <Yeah>. not good. <laughs> uh, insanity to me. There's a lot of things wrong about like this story, but like one particular thing is like making me angry the most. I think is the fact that he was like, "Hey, don't even tell me you're pregnant until you're yes. three, four months along, right?" Yeah. And with the the mention of of her having like multiple miscarriages at the time, that is not only like a physical toll on her body, that's an emotional toll on her body, her mental health, and the fact that he's so fucking dense and selfish and just be like, hey, don't even burden with me any of that instead of being a partner, as fucked up as this whole situation as it is, it's just like, hey, I'm with you at every step of the way, like, you know, even if you think that you're pregnant at the time, like, let me be here to be uh, supportive uh, for you at this time, and he's just like, nah, don't even bother me with that shit until... Um, you know for sure that you're gonna give birth because I'm tired and I'm exhausted, like losing a kid. Bitch, like how fucking selfish are you to be that kind of person? So that's because he looks at her as an object. He Facts. he looked he, he saw her at fifteen. I want that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna use that to my uh, personal interests. Took advantage of of her life. Uh, use her just for breeding purposes. And when he thinks that she's no longer useful to him as a She's disposable. Breeder, she's disposable. I don't want her anymore. Like she's useless to me as an object. Yeah. Damn. Also, I don't want to be rude. I mean, just cause I'm not like at that age yet, but you're 53 and you're still wanting six more kids, brother. You, that's not <laughs> good for you. Right. Like at 53, are you not, you should be, a, you should be close to being an empty. Yeah, it should be yeah, fucking but, closing <laughs> the chapter on that. You, you should still work. You're wanting six, six more kids at 53. I mean, no judgment. If you're well, in a he happy wants to he's going to have nothing to do with them. He doesn't you do know that. Yeah. that. He just wants he to. He don't fucking race any of them. She, he's like, be like, oh, no, you're taking care of it. That's yeah. so crazy the to time. want kids and then not want to raise them. I do not understand. It also sounds like he's cheating. I mean, he definitely. Because he's staying later in the office, right? And he doesn't want to hug his kid because he feels guilty. Mm. Shit. Julia, you're good. I, <laughs> I would have not got that at all. But yeah, not hugging the kid is crazy. Because. If you want a divorce, what's the kid got to do with it? Unless you're doing some exact other yeah. foul shit. Yeah. Shady yeah, shit. He's fucking good True. at this shit. Dude. Replace John. Some other 15 year old, I'm guessing. God damn. <laughs> oh, oh my. I want to beat this You know he has ass. a type, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure he has a type at this point. Yeah. Uh, well, 
Told y'all this. Some of the stories are kind of fucked up this episode, <laughs> but we're gonna go on a quick ad break, take time to decompress, and we're gonna end like kind of the the episode by um, doing a segment written by our amazing Underbaki, which is kind of perfect because the segment is getting to know your host. But oh yeah, we got we got uh, we got a special guest here today, so I'm gonna pull a Sean and ask every single question for everybody because uh he did that with nancy when she was on so and sienna we gonna do and sienna and we're gonna we're gonna do the same damn thing so uh we'll be right back with the maniacs and um simmer down breathe a little bit and we're back all right so the amazing oh there goes a ringo if you made it this far you deserve a ringo you deserve also look how easily josh is picking up that chair sheesh fucking muscles boy getting ready for that wedding boy sheesh it's not a heavy chair. <laughs> let them, nah, let them imagine. Ashes, let them, heavy, that's fucking, oh, I think that's on. real wood and real leather shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what it With is. With a cat on it, too? Yeah. yeah. We'll take off the jacket next time so we can see the triceps, man. Come on. <laughs> not bro. breaking a sweat at all. Goddamn. For real. With a jacket on and everything? God. <laughs> it's minus the, five the outside. <laughs> definition. Holy shit. But anyways, uh, the amazing Underbaki wrote us a, a amazing segment, a brand new segment that's been kind of rolled out like, the past couple of weeks. Um, it is get to know your host. So normally she'd have one question to ask like each host, but hey, there's there's four of us today, so let's why not let's let's answer every single one of them. So uh, first question that the amazing Underbaki asked is, which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house. Anyone wants to take it first? Wait, what was the what was after? I'm so sorry. Repeat. Uh, all what of would that. you rather do? <laughs> what would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Hmm. I know what yours is. Oh, you definitely know what mine is. I'm gonna be honest. I don't mind any of these chores. I probably would prefer the mowing the lawn. I don't have a lawn right now, but I do love the outdoor mowing lawn. Wow. That's the last on my list. I'm allergic to bees. (laughs) So (laughs) it's the dangerous one, but uh, it might be up there for me. All right. In order of least, uh, we're ordering them. Well, I'm going to order it. You don't have to do it. I'm just ordering it. I would least want to do the lawn. In fact, I pay somebody to do that because it's, it takes too much time. There's not enough time in the day. Uh, and then next Shirtless. is probably oh, Josh. bathroom. <laughs> uh, I, I'll, I usually do it, but it, it's not great. Uh, you know, guys, you said, sometimes the aim <laughs> is not perfect. You know what I mean? And then it, it sits there for a while. Uh, and then I'll probably vacuum the house and then do dishes. I don't mind dishes. Dishes are fine. I usually just put my phone, watch some TV while I do dishes. It's chill. I don't mind any of them. I don't hate any of them. <laughs> it's fine. You want to answer for me? What's what's my favorite? Of thing? Your you would rather do is vacuum because for some reason he's Fucking obsessed with vacuum. love really? vacuuming. Interesting. I yeah. love vacuuming. For one of his birthdays, I bought him a Dyson vacuum and he was so happy. Oh yeah, happy. he loves that Dyson. I he's mentioned it before. I love vacuuming. You're such an old man, Joe. <laughs> She's bought me like so much vacuum. Wait, what about before? vacuuming? Now is ba- it just satis- like satisfying to see it get like sucked up? Yeah, so it's uh, not only that is, especially when it's like, it's kind of like mowing the lawn-ish, right? You know how like when you get the lines yeah. of, of like a perfectly lined grass? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. For me, it's spot. like the perfectly <laughs> lined uh, dust or like, you know, pet hair that's yeah. not on the floor anymore. It's like, and then when you hit the corner and you see all it goes, oh, it's so fucking <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Look, it's like ASMR. I me. don't mind doing the lawn. In fact, that's like peak podcast time. It's just like, where is the time of the day to do it? Especially when the now when the sun is setting at like 4.30 p.m. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I don't, it's too difficult for me. Here's the difference, Sean. We only have about four months when we can cut our lawns. So <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> we do it's not have white lawns lawn. right now. I, I gave up in like, uh, I probably did it for like six months after we bought the house. And then in summer when you need to mow the lawn every like five days, just because of like how fast the grass grows. I was like, this is... There's no way I'm, I just let weeks go by and I'm like, I'm surely going to get a letter from the HOA. And then, yeah, it's just, it's too much. <laughs> it's too damn hot. I can't do and it. And it's hot. Yeah. Um, all right. Jesus. Yeah. I can't do it. Not in Texas. Uh, question number two, what was the last book you read? Uh, let's for, this is embarrassing for me reading people. Um, what was the last book or last book? That last book you read or last podcast you listened no, to? No, no, book. No, that's too book. easy. We're three podcast hosts. So <laughs> it has to be a book. All right, fine, fine. Especially fine, fine. for last your ass, book. John. God damn. Can it be audiobook? No. 
Sure. What? What? <laughs> Read that books shit. Count? Pages. I'm still getting the information. I, I like to listen to audiobooks when I go on walks or stuff like that. Was it about the Roman Empire? <laughs> God. <laughs> no. The one I'm currently reading. Uh, it's about the Greek mythology. Watch. Give me a second. Someone else go and I'll pull it up. I was going to say, if we're talking like book, like actual book, it's probably when I was like in college, I read Sea Biscuit uh, for, uh, I don't know if I had to read it or if. Uh, I don't know why. No, I read. that's required. Was it has it? to be something you something I for book leisure was required reading. Probably. <laughs> you are thirty. What one? <laughs> Bitch, why are you roasting my ass? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay, wait, John, are you reading for leisure? Uh, the last book I read was Zodiac. Okay, well okay. I've done I've audio books. If that makes you fucking book. happy, Josh. Yeah, that does. I did shoe that's dog. Fine. Hey, chill. The fucking the Nike book. Uh, but no, I'm oh, not nice. reading for leisure. Do I wish I did? Yes. But again, where's the fucking time of the day to just sit down and read Thank a goddamn you. book? It's when you're on TikTok sending me stuff, Sean. <laughs> I don't send you a billion TikToks. Don't act like I'm sending you a lot of shit. Uh, so the last one that I finished, it doesn't look good for me, but it was Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. So fucking no it's a is. long movie. Yeah. Uh, and then currently I'm reading The Hundred Years War on Palestine. So uh, that's good. Not quite the Roman Empire, buff. but they are history ones-ish. The Norse mythology one is not history. <laughs> it's mythology. It's literally in the name. You're on book talk. Yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead and throw them rags, Oh my girl. gosh. So I need to so I was on a book kick in, earlier this year and I was trying to find, I was running through books and I was trying to find recommended books, like what to read next. So I, I found book talk and some of them are like, oh, the plot is like cute. Um, these people, it's like a love, uh, interest book and, um, I bought it and it was all porn. <laughs> That's nice. all of the ones that Sienna reads is. <laughs> is it that fourth wing shit? I heard fourth wing is yeah. mad horny. No. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, Sienna's been reading I, them. I'm, I'm reading that one. It's, it's really good. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm okay them. with a little bit of smut as long as there's like a legit plot, but yeah, if same. it's Our just whole like all built on porn that. and. <laughs> The plot is There's very no plot, though. crucial. <laughs> There's no plot. Yeah. What do you mean? Lots of cookies. Yeah, though. cookies. Yeah, I forget the ones Sienna likes. It's like Cloak and Dagger or one of those ones. It's it's like all. Isn't that a comic? I don't know. I'm just, I, I it's not an actual title. It's just that kind of book where it's just like a hundred year old elf uh, meets this, you know, human woman or whatever. Oh, A Court of Thorn and Roses? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, girl, you know your shit. Yeah. And they just fuck every other page. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that one I couldn't get through. <laughs> well, Sienna like did. Like sticking <laughs> unicorn stuff under each other's booties or something. Like that. What? No, what unicorn are you Yo, what? Are you They're talking about? What are you reading? <laughs> what are you reading, brother? Are you reading the hub? The hub? <laughs> I don't read the hub. You read the Just comments. Watch it. I do read the comments. I love the hub comments. <laughs> Those are the best. But as uh Do you I'll, read the scripts from the hub? No, I don't read the fucking script. One time, <laughs> at one time, like, I was, <laughs> we watched one together. This is when we were friends. When we were friends, when we were still friends, and we just randomly watched one together. And I was just like, I typically Y'all were more don't than friends at that point, because who, what, for, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 we were, str we were strictly friends. No, it was with other people. It was like a group of friends. yeah. yeah. Uh, Y'all got a I don't typically trigger. watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because like I had asked, I had asked them the question. And I was like, that's how you know how long we've been friends for like fifteen years. Like, how long I've been watching porn? You guys watch. You guys watch porn. Like, like how do they like? Do they just do it and then that's it? Or like, is there like, like some dialogue? And they're like, no. There's like a whole storyline right before. I'm I typically like, skip it. I was like, oh, like what's the, like? I'm all about the plot. So I was like, what's the plot? So, so they showed me the plot. Who, yeah, who, who was guiding it? Was uh, it John? Was John being like, all right, I know where to go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I was like, I know exactly what you were going to do. I'm like, you want an espionage one? I got one right now espionage. on the chamber. It's about a, it's a, it's a negotiation about like a hostage situation. And it was bank. the worst acting ever. Like we didn't actually watch the sex part. I just wanted to watch the, the plot. There's got to be a subreddit do, for do just recommend. the plot before porn. I feel like that would be a really funny. There is, I think. Oh, I, I need to check. I think there is someone. For I think, research. I think purposes. someone commented to tell us to go to that one, and now I that would be so yeah. funny. We'll like, have to look it up. To have re please comment. We back. should we yeah. should do a bonus episode where we react to the plot <laughs> before the porn starts and just like watch and react. That would be fucking funny. <laughs> that would be good. Color me intrigued. We'd have to get Julia back for that. 
For sure. I'm that just going to judge all the acting. Hell yeah. You know. We need it. That's going to be the best part. Exactly. Last question. What celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? Mm. Why we should have no Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, we're anti Starbucks right now. I think I'm dude. bleeping that. <laughs> Are we? Oh, what Just celebrity would you like to shop. meet for coffee Good. at a Thank local you. coffee establishment? At your favorite local coffee establishment. There it there is. There you go. I didn't know we were against Starbucks right now. Well, we're also against free advertisement. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Even though we shot at our scrub daddy multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make money off this. Uh,. I don't a celebrity. I don't know. <laughs> Noah Khan. I guess I'd meet him. He seems weird. Who's that? I think he's a singer. Yeah. He's like an artist. Yeah, because I don't know. I, I have no idea who else I'd rather meet. John? Audrey Plaza. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's a good one. That'd be fun. <sighs> I don't know. Little Dicky. Little Dicky's Little a Dickie. good one, too. Uh, maybe Donald Glover. I like Donald Glover. Childish Gambino. Ooh, <laughs> he seems cool. He'd be funny. The three Lil Dicky, Aubrey Plaza, and Childish Gambino would make the fucking most hilarious. Damn, I fucked Show up. Yeah. with Noah Khan being like the, yeah, the, he theme be the music theme person. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll he'll play at the coffee shop. Yeah, there you in go. The that would be funny and awkward at the same time. Yeah, that'd be a, a wild group to meet up. That would be preferably some like plant involved that would be more <laughs> <pieces. laughs> <laughs> all right but before we close the episode off today i was i listened to our episodes guys and i heard oh. uh user underscore hyphen stan on a venmo shout out say that they'd love for us to randomly add an ai story just to mess <gasps> up josh wow and your wish is my command because there is an AI story in this one and we'd love to get that $30. Thank you very much. Uh, Josh, there's four stories to choose from. So your odds are pretty good, but care to guess which one is which? And I'll, I'll run down the, t- the titles for you again. I can't remember. They were just an, it was just a blur of horrible stories. <laughs> yeah. The titles again, so you remember. Uh, the first one, my fiance made me get plastic surgery just to get engaged. Now I want to call off the wedding. The second one is my best friend has feelings for my boyfriend. The third story, vindictive ex-wife ruining my boyfriend's life. And the last story was my husband wants a divorce. How do I tell him without coming off as manipulative? I got to go with the second one. The the randomness of the the anonymous ex seems like a a weird thing that AI might have done. Um, It could also just be a terrible update, but I'm going to go with that one. The vindictive ex-wife? No, the the best friend with the feelings. Yeah, that one. Uh. I got to say, Josh, you are pretty good because you did also <laughs> mention during that story that John wrote an AI update for this one. <laughs> uh, I'm too good. <laughs> the white the devil is white fucking devil. I'm the good. one defense against the AI. <laughs> <laughs> because you are one. Unproven. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy if I go to pick Josh up at the airport and he's just not there. He's like, Hi, he hasn't been real this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Damn. But uh, good job, Josh. That was, that was, a pretty that was good fun. Guess. I like um, that. That was good. I just did it because I want the money. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but before we close the episode off, Josh, Sean, any, any comments or reviews you want to uh, hit on? Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who bought a ticket to our show that went well. I'm going <laughs> to, yes. let's, you know, let's say it went well. I'm, I'm sure it did. And, uh, Thank you to the guys for uh, liking every single place I took you, even though you might have secretly hated it. No, we'll Never. love wherever you take us, Sean. I'm scared. Hey, we love everything you took us to, Sean. It was, they were all good. All right. Uh, so I'll do what we did with the last time we had our significant other's guests. Uh, I got I found some Juliet comments on our YouTube channel. Cat <laughs> FT8NH. Uh, about a month ago when John wore his Juliet shirt (laughs) said, okay, but I need to know where Juliet got that shirt made. I emoji. I got it on Etsy, which is a place where you'll find my cookbook. Look at it. Oh girl. Oh, speaking of which your shit. (laughs) Pascal Lewis, nine, nine, three, seven said, congrats to Juliet for the cookbook. Dang. What a queen. Shout out your cookbook, Juliet. Floor is yours, baby girl. Okay, so I put out a cookbook. How long has it been? A month, couple, a couple months month, now. Two months ish ago, um, and I would have been happy if like five people bought it. 
because um, I've, I've seen some of the comments uh, asking for recipes to certain stuff that I deliver to John at dinner time. Um, All good, by the way. That's why I have a big old gut, baby. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, as of today, eighty people bought it. So oh, yeah. um, just overwhelmed. Thank you so much for your support, and you can find the cookbook on Etsy, which John will link in the show. Sienna notes. and Juliet collab possibly in a book someday. Yes, uh, we do yeah. technically have a recipe book made because we made one for uh, her mom for Christmas two years ago. Oh, and so we update it every year. So release it <laughs> release it <laughs> yeah we might have to do some edits to it but uh it's not a bad idea uh but that's awesome juliet congratulations last one i got here is from rebecca mcmanus 4718 and they say every time i hear about john and juliet's relationship i become more convinced that john is a trophy husband <laughs> he's not he just acts like one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, am. <laughs> I am i'm pampered as fuck you are. We saw the video. Yeah, we saw Juliet the video. sent us. We saw the fast pass. That's we saw not the flight. me. That's all him. That is. That doesn't her. surprise me. <laughs> she created a monster. I was not like this before. You're her Frankenstein. I am, and I don't mind it at one bit. She's not intentional. It just he just changed <laughs> <laughs> for the better. Exactly. And then for a couple other shout-outs here. So we got for the Patreon monthly bonus episode in November. Uh, we had Sean do different accents. <laughs> <laughs> and people fucking loved it, Sean. Oh, uh, did we, they? We got Nelly who said, I have a kink for accents, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> this is my new favorite episode of all time. <laughs> I would think if that you, would be like your least favorite just of how bad all the accents were. You can make an OnlyFans now. That's what I'm you saying. You could. <laughs> just do an accent. Accents, uh, uh, accents, accents, and then just my bunions. With, It'll be both. With um, smut. Smoke in the accents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you say again? Shri shrimp on the shrimp bottom. On the bottom. That's the, how I okay, activated I the it, Australian right. accent is I had to fucking say something to get me in the, in the zone and it yeah. didn't really work. The zone was bad. It was not working. <laughs> Nancy heard about it and she was like, Oh yeah, give me, give me like a, a few lines. And she was like, Oh dear God, that was bad. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, and then, Addy says, Sean switching accents without being able to help it is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I was listening while eating lunch and had to focus so hard not to spit all my food out. And then last one here from Cheryl. I'm sitting down at my desk with tears streaming down my face, listening to Sean try to pin down the Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> I was legitimately crying for most of that episode, just trying to fucking being embarrassed that I couldn't get anything right. I was <laughs> oh, it was tough, but it was, I'm glad people liked it. Good on y'all for fun. coming that, up with that on the spot. That, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. John Which was episode like, was that? This was a Patreon bonus. Bonus one. Oh, yeah. Just a plug again for the Patreon. Oh, oh what a pro. Such a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss. I love you. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. That's, uh, that's all I got. Awesome. Well, if you like what we do, consider leaving a review for us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or our website, redditonwiki.com. Or just like what my beautiful wife said, consider being a patron so you can uh, listen to Sean say shrimp on a, shrimp on a Barbie like 30,000 <laughs> times to get activated. <laughs> and apparently people get turned on by uh, his, uh, his accent. So do we like not that Nancy sometimes? by the so, no, no, definitely <laughs> not Nancy. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Um, <laughs> you can uh, check our merch. We do have a bunch of merch up. Uh, Ogda, Kevin, Get Therapy, a bunch of them. Um, but the cheapest way to help us get discovered is uh, tag us on your stories on Instagram. Uh, Spotify Wrapped is coming up. Ooh, yes. Should be for this time when this episode comes up. Tag us in your story so that way, like, you know, your friends and families can also discover the show. Uh, loving all the movement that's been uh, happening on, like, YouTube or Instagram and TikTok. Just growing tremendously because of you guys spreading the word. So uh, that's really the cheapest way and the easiest way for people to discover us. And, yeah, we appreciate you. Uh, thank you, Julia, for... Oh, I yes. Call you Julia. It's so weird. Uh, <laughs> thank, oh, I don't like calling you that. Uh, uh, thank you my love for uh, oh. coming on today. And uh, thanks the boys again, as usual. 
And uh, we'll see you this Friday for another episode of Am I the Asshole? So till then. Man, we've only have bye. one more Monday episode. Crazy. Oh, no. The year is <laughs> almost over. Bye. Bye. Later. Today, I fucked up by getting our puppy stoned out of her mind. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah.